Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. <laughs> So if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I finally have my full face of LA Girl Cosmetics. And I just knew, I just knew me having a complete full face was too good to be true. I ain't got a highlighter. But what we're gonna do is, oh man. I was really hoping there was a shade in here that I could highlight with, but there's not. All right, y'all, we're gonna rock the day on with no highlighter. So full face of LA Girl Cosmetics, no highlighter. Let's go ahead and get into this. So for a primer, we're gonna use the LA Girl Pro, the LA Girl Pro, <laughs> the LA Girl Pro Prep. <laughs> HD primer. Why could I not say that? <laughs> the boys are in the room. They're so excited they can hear me filming. I don't know if you can hear them whenever I said, hey guys, they're all, hi, hi. So that's just what it looks like. It reminds me a lot of the Benefit Professional, like the texture. Oh no, the Smashbox one. Do y'all know the, just the plain old clear Smashbox primer, the old one? I think they changed the packaging. Which is like the original Smashbox primer is that same texture. And I used to, oh, it smells like it too. I used to love that Smashbox primer. Okay, that's matte. My hands are getting so dry, not only from having to wash them so much and all that alcohol -y hand sanitizer, but also from it getting cold outside. Now is not the time for there to be a, just sickness. <laughs> So anyways, I, since I don't have an actual like, well, this is fix and set makeup, the LA Girl setting spray. I am gonna go ahead and use this as my primer spray today. How cute are these necklaces? Brian got me this one and Karina got me this little A and I love them both. I broke my little yellow fan, y'all. Okay, so obviously for brows, y'all all know, I wonder if my straw is in the frame. For brows, y'all all know that LA Girl actually is my favorite brow pencil. So this is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I believe regular, not on sale. It's $5.99, but you can usually find it on sale. That's when I buy it, is whenever it's on sale. And I think I get it for like $2.99. So I had Karina try this brow pencil. She did not like it. I was like, oh, how could you? That just goes to show, not everybody's taste in makeup is the same. And LA Girl also has my favorite brow pomade. So this is the LA Girl brow pomade. I have mine in the shade Dark Brown. And now that we are done with that, we are gonna go ahead and go in with our LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. We're gonna clean up our brows, and this will also be what we're gonna use to prime our lids. Sorry for my kids today, guys. I'm so sorry. Here's what I do like about cleaning up your brows with the LA Girl Pro Conceal, is that since it's this brush like this, so easy to just do. Anybody else find themselves sinking into their chair when they do their makeup or is that just me? So I'm super excited to go into the Break Free palette. I, this like, this packaging takes me back to my childhood cause I'm just like, ooh, cause whenever you move it, it looks like the butterflies are flying. Love it. Guys, I haven't even swatched this. Like I'm gonna take this shade Dreamin' and set my lids down with that. Let's take free and we're gonna put that into the crease. So guys, do we wanna do full glam? 
kind of glam. What are we gonna do today, y'all? Knowing me, I have my Sugar Cosmetics lashes, which I'm currently loving. They're super dramatic, so dramatic look it is, y'all. Now that we have that in the crease, I love how chocolatey these are, but they're all different. Mm, I'm gonna go in with this one now right here, which is called Wonder, and do kind of the same thing, but a little bit more precise. And your girl needs to wash her brushes. So maybe today after I film, I'll wash them. Y'all, these shadows are good. Do I want to go super smoky, y'all? Yeah. Let's take strong. to take this shade right here which is so if it's backward wingman yeah i'm taking wingman right here i put this on the lid we may have to spray wingman let's spray wingman Y'all, I missed the whole brush when I just sprayed. Going back in with strong, just gonna blend out that edge right there. And now I'm gonna go back in with Dreamin' and just, no, let's take Hope, this one right here. This one is Hope, let's take Hope and highlight our brow bone with that. There is that. So as you guys know, I tried this out in my first impressions video and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Like it's not terrible, but like I said, you can get cheaper, for instance, essence mascaras that do more. If they're not cheaper, then they're, same, then they're the same price that do more and work better. So before I do that, I actually, so I did pull out just all of my LA Girl Cosmetics just to show you guys what I have. These are the eyeliners of theirs that I have. I'm going to use the brown one today, obviously. But I just wanted to show you guys the ones that I have. And they're all great. They all have the same quality. I really, really want to get their pastel ones. I'm so glad that our floors are carpet because I just dropped that whole palette. Okay, yeah. This mascara is way better than the first time I used it, which is good. Like, you see, that's why first impressions aren't always the greatest. And that's why even after a first impression, I always keep using the products because now look what I'm liking. I'm sure had I built this one up before it dried, I could have got more. But I'm putting on lashes anyway, so that's good. Obviously, um, LA Girl doesn't have lashes. So I am going to use my Sugared Cosmetics lashes. Very affordable brand. You can find them on Instagram. That's where I found her. I'll actually link her Instagram down below. Beautiful company with the cutest products. And y'all, these lashes are good. Like, good. Woo. Lashes are on y'all. Y'all, how pretty are these lashes? Like I said, these are her lashes in the Style Spice. These just cute. All right, going in with the LA Girl Foundation. I have just the regular one because y'all guys know, gotta be careful with the mattes because sometimes my skin be matte by itself. So this, I was thinking that this foundation might actually be really, really good with this primer because this can be a little bit oily sometimes. So we are going to take three pumps and obviously using the LA Girl sponge, needs to be wet a little bit. Okay, taking my LA Girl sponge. And that's the only thing I don't, I will tell y'all that about the sponge. I don't like how fast it dries. Same thing with the Huda Beauty sponge. This is the same way. It like, when I'm doing my makeup, I need you to stay wet for a little while. When I'm done using you, dry as fast as you want. And the first time I used this sponge, I didn't like it at all. Like the very first time I used it, I didn't like it. And I guess it's because it was new. 
it was picking up product as I tried to blend out. But now that I've washed it a couple of times, it's getting a little bit better and softer. But I've also, not a couple of times, I've washed it like three or four times. But the dye, like the coloring to the sponge is still washing out. Like whenever you wash it, whenever you first get it, a lot of pink dye comes out. And it's like, I'm on like, gonna go on like the fifth time of me washing this sponge and dye, the pink dye is still coming out of it. See what I mean? Like you have to be careful or it can pick up the product rather than place the product. Like it'll give you like those little circles around your face, like the shape of this, it'll leave those on your face. Y'all, the lashes are cute. I'm getting more and more into really dramatic lashes. I never thought I would, cause I'm always like Raquel can rock like the biggest, prettiest lashes. Like I just don't think I can. And like the more I wear them, I'm like, oh, she real cute, real cute. Sometimes y'all, sometimes. Cause 90% of the time I'm looking like a straight potato. Like there is no in between for me. You either get a potato or you get French fries with me. No in between. I'm either just a whole potato or I'm some wing stop fries. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the coverage of everything. Super cute. Foundation is looking a little bit dry on my skin, but I'm pretty sure it's this primer. So let's just finish up and see what it looks like when we're done. Y'all, this is a, this is their concealer too. I have it in the shade Chestnut, but if you're going to cream contour with this, you don't need a lot. Like, I cannot express how little of this you need. Y'all got a big forehead. And y'all just let me walk around here like this. Ain't nobody even tell me I got a big forehead. y'all my sponge is far i don't feel like getting it so we're gonna use a brush with this powder today because <laughs> the last time i did not use a brush with this powder and things went crazy okay i'm gonna go back in that go back in with the la girl eyeliner in brown and put that on my waterline Kind of liking how this looks without me doing my lower lash line. I feel like it'll close my eyes more if I do the lower lash line with eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply the mascara. Now I'm sorry if I don't look at the camera a lot because I feel like I don't. I don't know why this sound is so satisfying to me like the sound of stirring something, like the metal on the glass. Like that sound satisfies me for some reason, I don't know, I'm weird. How many times have I called myself weird? Now, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the LA Girl Blushed Babe palette. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this color right here to bronze. Y'all knew what I was trying to say. Y'all knew. I was really powdery and I didn't have to kick up all that powder like that. Okay, so I'm actually gonna take this blush right here because it has kind of a sheen to it. Those kids ever be scaring y'all? <laughs> this person's like, there's someone at the door. There's someone at the door. And I go and I'm like, I look out the people and I'm like, Okay, there's nobody out there. Maybe it was a package. Open the door. Ain't nothing out there. So like, my baby's seeing in here and stuff. But anyways, taking this shade right here because it has like a little sheen to it. And since we don't have a highlight, thank goodness for, okay, that brush ain't gonna work. Not with this. Is it just the blush? Do y'all see what's going on? Am I tripping? There we go, you gotta, you gotta apply a lot. That's kind of a good thing though, because sometimes like some, 
Sometimes I'll be real heavy handed with blushes. You'll see it kind of added the sheen that I was missing from highlight. So for the inner corner, I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna go back in with Wingman and just apply that to the inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of hashtag queen. No. Yeah, hashtag queen is the more bronzy gold. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of that. And now for the lips, you guys. Y'all, I love LA Girl Lip Line Nurse. Look at this. Now, two of these are actually the same because one's a backup. So keep it spicy. Those two are actually the same. Now I know all my lip liners from them look similar, but they're, ow, but they're all actually really different. And I love all of them. I love all of them. So I think I am gonna use Keep It Spicy and Cafe today. Cause I have a lipstick from them, but you guys remember, even though it looks brown on the lid, it is pink in the tube, like, Great formula, but it ain't gonna match this eye look. I just wanted to show you guys that I did have a lipstick. I bought this lipstick specifically for this video, but it don't match. So I'm actually going to take Cafe first and line my lips and fill that and contour them. Don't worry y'all, we're not stopping there. We're not stopping there because I know my lips disappeared into my face. Now we're gonna take Keep It Spicy and we're just gonna go along the edges and just, is this out? What's going on? Yo, I didn't even know that this one was out already. Yeah, so either one of the boys got a hold of this and ah, there it is. It's broken off in the lid. But I bet, like that's all I have left of this y'all. But it was broken off in the lid, so let me shorten it and get all my money's worth. Now these colors are very similar, but not the same. I'm gonna set my brows off camera because I do not have an LA Girl brow gel. So now that I love how this look came out, like. Is she cute or what? Who is she? Straight hair, full glam, jewelry, what? Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and spray. Y'all, I needed the mist today because, I'll tell y'all in a minute. This, I'm having one of the moments where I feel really cute with the headband on. I don't want to take it off. There we go. A headband I can wear all day. It's literally just a bandana that I tied underneath. So cute still. That's why I don't like pulling my hair back when I do my makeup. Because then I put my hair down and I'm like, I look like a behemoth. All right, you guys. Woo, that setting, that fixed and set spray really helped because I was looking real powdery. This isn't bad because I am looking poreless, but I would have loved to only use this on my pores and use and have used a more hydrating one all over my face. I'm not sure if LA Girl has any hydrating primers. I'll put a picture on the screen of if they do, like all the primers that they have, but this one for sure is really good for pore filling, but not good if you have dry skin. Had it not been for this, I would have looked dry and powdery, and I'm already starting to crease on my smile line. Yeah, overall though, you guys, I loved all the products. I really do love LA Girl. This surprised me because I did not like this the first time that I used it, and now I like love it. From the little nine pad eyeshadow, nine pan eyeshadow palette that I had from LA, LA Girl, I knew that they had good um, eyeshadows, but this, you guys, this is so good, and I'm pretty sure I created the exact same look that I created with the nine pan eyeshadow palette. Oh no. Anyways. Next time I use it, I definitely want to do like an orangey goldy look, but it's winter, not 
well, it's still fall. It's fall until like December 22nd or 21st, so maybe I could do one last fall makeup look for the road. But um, yeah, I really liked everything. You guys know that I love me some LA Girl products. This powder is not that bad with the brush. I recommend if you want to try this powder, use it with a brush, not with a sponge. Because You guys saw in my full face of first impressions when I used it with the sponge, it clung to a lot of weird areas. So highly recommend using it with a, bl a brush and lightly dusting it all over your face. I'm pretty sure throughout the day my oils are gonna start to peek through, so I'm not too worried about my face looking too dry throughout the day because, like I said, as the day goes on, this does tend to get a little bit more dewy, if you will. So, <laughs> yeah, and I, that's it for today's video, you guys. I love how today's look came out. Let me know what brand you would like for me to do next. Drugstore only. Y'all know this is a drugstore channel. I do have high-end makeup, but I love me some drugstore makeup because I'm all about that budget, boo. So let me know what full face of drugstore makeup you guys would like to see next. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah!